Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to animate shapes in Camtasia 9. Alright guys, so I'm going to show you this quick music video that I just edited for Arit. And I'm going to show you some of the features that I'm going to be teaching how to do in Camtasia 9. So this is a acapella cover of Havana. And you'll see in the background that there's lots of moving shapes and stuff. So I'll just play a little bit of it. And then I'll show you in Camtasia 9 how to create that yourself. So you see the two triangles just slid in. And then the, the letters are kind of moving around. Alright, so you can see that there's shapes going in in all directions. Let me show you one more part. So there's this section right here. And you can see all the little shapes are moving behind while Arit is singing. Alright, so let me show you guys how to do that. So as you can see, that video is actually really simple. So we filmed Arit on green screen. Uh, that's why you know, we have these shapes moving in the background. We just filmed her on green screen and then the whole thing, the whole shapes moving in the animation is all done in Camtasia. So if you want to see this video, head down to the description below and you guys can see the whole thing. That entire video was done in Camtasia 9. Alright, so uh, let's see here. What was uh, the first sort of shape here that I want to show you guys? Um, let's show this one where it was the, the two triangles and then a blue rectangle coming down. Okay, so we want to head over to the annotations tab and then head over to shapes. Sorry if my voice goes in and out and it's crackling and stuff. I have a sore throat and a cough, so it's kind of hard to speak right now. Alright, so first thing is the two uh, triangles. So let's put two triangles down, and because I want them to come in at the same time, I have to put them on top of each other like how you see here. So let's move these accordingly. They were both on the edge. And we'll stretch them out. And this is just an example. It's not exactly the same shape, but you guys will get the gist of it. So we'll move it like this. They weren't they weren't this wide, but that's okay. Okay, so once you've got your two triangles there, and then we had a um, a blue rectangle coming down the middle. So I'm gonna put that on top here, and just make the rectangle. Just like this, nothing too fancy, right? And if you play it right now, nothing is going to happen. It's just going to go just like that, nothing, right? So what we need to do is we need to add behaviors which are basically animations. Don't get confused with animations and behaviors. So the animations tab is different from the behaviors tab, but behaviors are basically animations. I know it sounds confusing, but so in this case, what I did for a lot of that video is use the sliding effect on a lot of those shapes. So I'm going to add in 
the sliding effect on this one, on this one, and on this one. Now we need to tweak the sliding behavior a little bit because if you just do that, um, it's going to look like this. They all just slid in from the left hand side and then they're sliding out on the right. Now that's cool if you wanted to do that, but I didn't want it to do that initially. If you remember, the, the two triangles came in from the bottom and then the rectangle came in from the top. So for the purple, you need to calibrate its movement. So I'm going to highlight both of them and the direction that the shape is coming in, it says left, but I actually want it to come in from the bottom. So I'm going to click bottom and then during, I don't want it to do anything because on this particular behavior in the during, like there's in, during and out during this shape while it's on screen, it's going to do a fading effect with like light and dark with the color. I don't want it to do that at all. I just want it to slide in and then slide out. So in the during, it's under fading. I want none. And then in the out, it's going to slide to the right, but I actually want it to slide up, continue like almost as if it had continued going up. So I want it to slide to the top. Now that takes care of the two purple ones. Now let's work on the white one here. So in, I've highlighted it. I want it to come from the top because I want it to drop down from the top. And then during, hit up during here, it's on fading, I want none. And then out, I want it to leave through the bottom. So I'm going to click bottom. So now I will have replicated what I did in the video. So I'll just play it here. There. So you see, it can look really cool if you've got the right things going on in the background. I'll just play it for you one more time and then I'll play it the entire, entire thing so you can see it while it goes out. Nothing's happening in the during and then when it's out, then it's going to slide out completely. And there are other things that you can tweak while, while doing this. You can t tweak the speed, you can play with the different uh, movements, but I typically left it like that and I just changed the direction that they came in and then what, they, what the shape was doing during. So let me show you another one here. The part where Arit is doing the wrap here. This part, you can see that uh, they're going to be continuously moving. So when one goes out, another one comes in. So this one's going to go out and then they're going to come in. So if you watched, if you watch the whole thing, you'll see that these blue things, they come in and then they leave one direction and then they'll come in and then they'll go the other direction and then they'll come in and they'll alternate so you can do whatever you want like you can be really cool like that when you're editing the video so let me show you how I did that that one was a little bit more tricky and okay so let's say I want uh, adding in the shapes here it was three colors and all right the first one put here and then okay so now that we've got these parts here we're going to just stretch them out hold on stretch them out Okay, and then let's add our, our colors. So this one and this one. Let's say blue. Make it blue. Make this blue. Blue. 
Okay, let's just do two blue, one white. Okay, so let's go and add the behaviors. So again, we want to add the sliding behaviors. So I'm gonna highlight all of them and add the sliding behavior. As you can see, the behavior was added to all three of them. And if I do like a little fast forward here, you're gonna see that they're gonna do the same thing. So they're gonna come in from the left and they're gonna leave to the right, but we want it to show a different way. So I'm gonna highlight the blue ones both at the same time and how you do that is you click control, click on the one that you want and then click on the other one still while holding the control button and then you will have highlighted both of those medias so I want to edit the two blue ones at the same time so that, so that I don't have to do them individually I can just do them at the same time while they're being highlighted. So first thing is during I want the style to be none because I don't want anything to happen. I don't want it to do like that fading thing that was happening in. I want them to both come in from the bottom and then out. I want them to leave in the direction of going to the top. Now I'll go to the white one and I'll edit that one accordingly. So during it's none in it's coming in from the top and then out it's going out from, sorry, the direction, the bottom. Okay, so let's quickly see that here. Nice, so it's a really cool animation. Now, you saw that they had continuously kept going and they kept moving, right? Well, that is created when you do this. So let me just shorten this a little bit. Okay, so to have it go continuous, you need to duplicate it so it looks like they are doing their own thing over and over again. So I'm going to highlight this by clicking Control C and then I'm going to go Control V. And you can see it gave me another three here, so I'm going to paste that. I'm going to go Control V again to give me another three and I'm going to arrange them over here. We'll just do it one more time. I'm going to click Control V and it's going to give me another set of three. So now I have four sets of three. You can see that they're all lined up nicely and I'll just play it for you and you'll see the animation that it creates and it's pretty cool. So it's sliding in and then it's going to slide out. Now it's going to slide in again and that's going to slide out and you guys can see that it's a continuous motion but if you want you know to add more dynamic range to it I would do something like this so I would highlight this second set here and for them leaving out let's say I want all of them to go to the right and then highlight the last one here and I want all of them to leave on the left. So now let's play that. Spacebar, play. So they're coming in and then they've all left to the right. So you can see you can play around with it and that, one's, that one was the same. This one's gonna leave on the left. So it's some pretty cool animation. I highly recommend checking out the music video that I just edited for Arit which will be located down in the description below because you guys can really get a feel for what you can do with shapes and animation in Camtasia 9. The entire background of video was created with shapes and animation and I really liked it. So that is how you use shapes and behaviors to create animations in Camtasia 9. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching. If I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like these free Camtasia 9 tutorials, head down to the description below as I have a bunch more free Camtasia 9 tutorials for you guys. Alright guys, well thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.